Hi everyone, Eric Nelson here once again, and thank you for tuning in to my YouTube channel. For today, I am back with another book review on Mark Estes' Rekindle the Flame. Now, before I get into the review, I do have to let you all know that this is book number two of a series called the Vendedictory series. Now, but on the other hand, this uh, this book's uh, this book stands wonderful on its own, not just because of the actual story, but because the author Mark Estes provides the relevant information from the uh, first book, Four Pieces for uh, for Power, in which I also read and reviewed, and it's on my YouTube channel as well if you want to uh, take a look at it. And in the uh, book, before the uh, first chapter, he begins with the uh, reviews of the first book, and which is all praise, and I can't see why anybody wouldn't like it unless you do not know how to read, because well, I like this book, uh, Four Pieces for Power Stands Wonderful on its own, and as I said in my own review, Mark Estes is a great writer, so... If you have a great writer writing a great story, how can you go wrong? And after he provides reviews, he also provides relevant information from Four Pieces for Power so that you know who is who and, uh, and certain plots and subplots, but not to the point of spoiling anything. He writes relevant information, but at the same time, he keeps the mystery alive by not having any of the spoilers or not having any secrets revealed in the relevant information he provides for four pieces for power. And I like how he does that because a lot of people uh, read book series or they do not read book series in chronological order. Now, now, of course, this happens on accident because, you know, it just, you know, I'm not sure why, maybe people don't just, or maybe people don't uh, uh, read that it is a series, or maybe not all the books within a series are paired together in a bookstore, but I think he knows this, and that's probably why he provided that information, I th and I think that was a really great move on his part. But in the book, in case, and of course, some things you have to know from Four Pieces for Power, and that's another reason why he provided relevant information. But, uh, but in this book, the uh, character An An Andrew, uh, I'm sorry, the, uh, the uh, main character, Andrew uh, Corio, um, his life is actually his life and a lot and his uh, family's lives are actually turning out a lot better he's uh, met somebody by the name of Jenna who he wants to be as a wife however the however whenever when everything seems like it will be normal forever and normal not and with the uh, normal I mean not perfect or not completely wrong but when everything seems to be going normal, the evil forces of the uh, land, of the world of Vendedictory seem to be coming back to haunt Anne Drew. And this happens when a mis when a mysterious Boland woman arises. Now that may not seem like uh, something evil or some or, or something threatening. But when she bears a resemblance of his old, of his old girlfriend Colleen, or should I say, his old his old flame, his old flame Colleen, you might get the impression that this is the ultimate weapon from the evils of Benedict, of Benedictory, by rekindling the flame to create by rekindling the flame to create conflicts with his new and great life. 
so, or is it? Is this really the evil forces of Vendedictory, or is this just a coincidence? Well, of course, this is where I uh, th this is where I stop here, so that you can read the uh, book and find out. But like four pieces for uh, power, I like th this book on its own as well as within the uh, series. And uh, as I understand, a third one is on the uh, way, or maybe it's already published. But uh, whenever I have whenever I have time to read it, I would like to uh, read it because. Mark Estes knows how to read and write people. His uh, character development is just second to a none in the both books, and I can't wait to see that in the uh, third book. And hopefully, when I say third book, I hope it's not the final ins uh, installment of this great series. So you can get this book anywhere, and I hope to see you all at the bookstore or the iBookstore.